Welcome back to season six. Season six of what? The Bonfire. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, now to the bonfire today. We are super excited to be here with you. I'm able to bring her, so I'll be the host this evening. A um, little about myself really quick. I've been a missionary in the Nashville area for about two years. It's, it's been very good. It's been very interesting. Um, I'm here with my good buddy Promise, so he's got a lot more to talk about than me, honestly. Way cooler story. Promise, you want to maybe tell people about yourself for just a second? Oh, yes. Uh, my name is Promise. Uh, I'm from India. I uh, moved to America almost three and a half years ago, and I got to know that I like Chick-fil-A, oh, you know, Chick-fil-A. so that's what all my friends got me into, so. Uh, what what brought you over here? Me, uh, so I come as a, like a special, a specialized skill worker, so I am in the basically hospitality industry, currently I'm doing my master's. Awesome, great stuff, yes. well, I'm glad to be here with you on the, on the bonfire. Today we're going to be talking about um, the different names of Christ and the importance of them. There will be a lot to talk about on that, but first we're going to cut to a, a song um, kind of about that. It's an instrumental. It's by a couple of our local missionaries here in Nashville, Sister Pope and Elder Arnell. It's called His Name, and we'll catch you right after that. Thank you. 
All righty, sweet. Well, that was that was a pretty good song. I don't know what you think, Promise. It was pretty good song. I liked it. Pretty good. It was excellent. Yes. It was excellent. We we love getting to hear um, the talents of so many different artists around. It's kind of a cool part about being in Nashville. Honestly, there's a lot of different people around that are pretty talented. I don't know if you've ran into anybody before. Uh, yes, everywhere you run into, it's just like they are related to music. You know, any kind of instrument just came here to make their life in music. Absolutely. Well, that, that song wasn't instrumental, but the, the lyrics were on the bottom there. I got to kind of read some of those, and it was talking about Christ and His name. But before we kind of jumped into the Christ aspect, I wanted to talk a minute just about like our own names and maybe the importance of that. You were mentioning earlier, um, before this, we were talking about where your kind of name kind of came from. Do you want to kind of explain some of that? It was, it was very cool to me. Yes, definitely. Uh, so uh, my name was is Promise. So how my name came up? Is, uh, it's a combination of my dad's name, my mom's name, and the day I was born. So my dad's name is Pradeep. So take the pra. So pra, my mom's name is Mira. So me from there, and I was born in Monday. So in Sanskrit term, in Hindi term, we call it Somwar. So so, pra, me, so, and it turned out promise. Turned out to be promise. Yes. How many languages did you speak again? Uh, it's like mostly... Uh, I am right in northeast border of India, mm-hmm. so I know a little bit of Nepali, Bangladeshi, um, and a couple of different languages around India because India has 160 or 140 languages and almost 2,000 dialects. I have a t- hard enough time speaking English. I don't know about that, I promise. That's, that's pretty incredible. Um, and I, I would like, I would reckon that, you know, carrying a name like that where it's a combination of, of your parents, like, that's something that's you maybe take a little bit of pride in, right? Righteous pride in the sense that you want to yes. you want to be a good person. You want to do something good with that so that when people talk about promise, they're not like, ah, promise. It's like, yeah, promise, right? Yes. He, we know that name has some power. He's a good dude. Yes. Um, established since 1999, you know? Established <laughs> since 1999? <laughs> there we go. I know, I know for myself, in the communities that I grew up in, um, I'm from out west. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but there is a lot of kind of pioneer heritage, and there's a lot of names that that go back a long ways. And there's these these families that are, are they're huge in the sense that like, hey, these settled these people, and this happened, and this family's kind of known for this. Everyone kind of has their different group. Um, I don't know how it is in India and how many the names work. I know it's probably a little bit different, but I'm I'm certain that like different people and different families are known for different things, right? Uh huh. So it's uh, basically India is most of like a caste system. So um, most of the uh, peoples who are like merchant, most of them are known for like um, they only do certain kind of job. So mm-hmm. in India kind of is very diverse country. It has different kind of religion, different kind of peoples, different community of peoples. So it's just like it segregates everyone very so. very cool something interesting on my mission um you know i go by the title right now of elder bring so that's not always been the case it won't always be the case right i do <laughs> yeah. have a normal first name yes. it's it's ret uh-huh. but i go by elder right now because i've been been called to to preach the gospel and with that it, it kind of brings some some different things i'll share an experience i had yesterday we were actually walking through the nashville airport um dropping some people off and as we were walking through, I heard, I heard someone say Elder Bringhurst, and I was kind of like, you know, who who's calling me that name? Like that's a different name that not everyone just knows. And yeah. it it turned out to be some old friends from a place I lived for a few months, and one of the other buddies I was with that day, he he lived there with me as well, and and they knew him by, by Elder Cranny. Um, he was on the bonfire a couple weeks ago, so it was it was very neat, and it kind of led me to ponder on that idea of like. You know, these people, they know me by this title, and it led me to think about Christ, right? Yes. And the way that we we know his name. There's a lot of people that have heard the name Jesus Christ before, mm-hmm. right? But do they really know that name? When they say that name, does he recognize them? Yes. Um, um, uh, so the title, um, you have got elder, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a very pride. That's what I think. Uh, so, um, and I think, so you're really proud to be an elder so you can share the gospel 24 into 7, you know, meanwhile you are in, in your mission. I guess uh, 
to share the gospel and to know Jesus Christ, you don't have to be a missionary, but it's so much better to be a missionary. Like if you want to do something, if you want to share the gospel, if you want to help someone, you don't have to be, um, as I was talking to most of my friends, you know, I live my life very much uh, practically and in a very moral way. Uh, so living life in like um, charity, helping others, you know, you don't have to be in a paramedic. So if you see a wreck in the front of the car, um, you just stop by and just see if everything is okay. They need a bandit which you can grab up from your safety box in your car. You know, it's just following Christ is a different experience. Most certainly, and he, he definitely knows our own names. I love the I love the example of what we call the first vision. I don't know if you've heard of the first vision, but when the prophet Joseph Smith had, you know, God and Jesus Christ appeared to him, and they they called him by name. That's the first thing they did. That shows the, the amount of care and and need there is for that, because it is it's something that's kind of unique and, and individual to each of us, and mm-hmm kind of kind of getting into it a little bit deeper but Jesus Christ right he has many different names um there there is like literally hundreds of different things that he's labeled in in the bible i don't know if you have any favorites but one i read a couple of days ago that was really intriguing to me that i hadn't rem- remembered reading before was the bishop of our souls and i was like dang that is that is dang cool that is a very cool one i think some some more popular ones are redeemer savior the son of god uh-huh. um a lot of different things like that. Have you have you read some different names and um, yes, I have. I've been to a couple of names. Uh, for me, Jesus Christ. Um, it's it could be a friend. Jesus Christ is your. He's in every part of your life. You can take. He shared loves with you. He gives you peace. So whatever name you take, I will tell you. Words are less to explain that. We cannot explain that in words. You just can't feel it. When I was baptized, the Holy Ghost, everybody experienced in a different nature. Mm-hmm. Somebody experienced in uh, love, somebody experienced in uh, charity, somebody experienced in humanity, all these different kind of things, you know. But I feel as is like that Holy Ghost, sometimes when I close my eyes, it talks to me. Absolutely. I, I had the opportunity to beat your baptism. Um, that was That was incredible. Mm-hmm. I I definitely felt the spirit while I was there as well, and you know these these different names that we're talking about of Jesus Christ, friend, like as simple as that is, that is that's pretty profound, pretty powerful. Um, sometimes I think Christ is so perfect that he's almost hard to us to relate to in some ways, and so when you think about it on a level of of people that you know, like if somebody like myself or or maybe the missionaries that I talked to you before called you friend, right? Mm-hmm. That's a bigger deal. Um, but with that, we're gonna we're gonna go and cut to another segment. There was um, some missionaries that are friends of ours that went and they interviewed some people um, around Nashville and kind of asked them about their favorite names of Jesus Christ. So we we'll go to that and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll continue talking. All right. We're here with Stella and our friend Joshua. And today we're talking about the different names of Christ. And so Joshua, what is your favorite name of Christ? Mine would have to be Yahweh, because my name is Joshua. I was named by my mother for that reason. All my brothers have biblical names, so, you know, I just gotta praise the Lord. My, you know, Yahweh is the way to go. That's incredible. Hey y'all, I'm here with my friend Henry. Hi. And Henry, today we're talking about our favorite names of Jesus Christ. And so I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite name of Jesus Christ and why? You know, like uh, the favorite name is actually Jesus, you know, like uh, because, you know, he became Christ after his death and resurrection, he became Christ, you know, like, uh, and that's my favorite name. And of course, I told uh, Emmanuel means God with us, you know, he's the Prince of Peace, he's the King of Kings, he's the Lord of Lords, he's the Jehovah Jireh. You know, he is uh, uh, God of uh, uh, like Yehovah Shamma. You know, he is uh, the God of light, you know, God of salvation. There is so many names for Jesus. There are so many. Sometimes it's hard and to pick one. Is, yeah, there is no other way other than Jesus to 
reach heaven. He is the way, the truth, and the life. You know, no Absolutely. man can enter into God's kingdom unless he comes through, through Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, he is the way, truth, and life. You know. Amen. So I really thank you guys for this privilege. Thank you too. Speaking, uh, Gosh, today's been such a good day. We're here with Shannon. We love Shannon. <laughs> And we're going around and we're asking a bunch of different people what their favorite name for Jesus Christ is. And so, Shannon, what is your favorite name for Jesus Christ? Uh, Son of God. Son of God? Yeah. Do you have a specific reason why? I don't, actually. I just like that. Oh, I gotcha. I love that. I'm here with my friend Jonas. What's up, Jonas? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. We're, we're talking about Jesus Christ today and what our favorite names of Jesus Christ are. Mm -hmm. And so, what is your favorite name of Jesus Christ and why? Um, Jesus, or Jesus, really, uh, just because I grew up with, you know, practicing Orthodox Christianity, uh, Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, so Eastern Orthodox, so that's why the name I chose is my favorite. Amen. Really, any, any name is cool. It doesn't really matter. It's true. There's yeah. so many to pick from. Sometimes it's so hard to pick one. Right, right, exactly. Uh, as long as you uh, believe in God, you know. Jesus, right? Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, for John, it is so nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. What is your favorite name for Jesus Christ? Yeshua HaMashiach. Why? Um, I, I like the, the uh, Hebrew mm -hmm. rendering of his name versus, uh, versus any English rendering of his name because I believe it speaks uh, more truly to who he is. Um, for me, he saved my life, you know. And uh, so I honor him, just like when I meet you, I call you by your name. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to translate it into something else, yeah. and I want to call him by his name according to his own tongue. So, Thank you, John. Yeah. Thank you for that. I'm here with my homie Alex, um, and today, Alex, we're talking about names of Jesus Christ. And so I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite name of Jesus Christ and why? Yeah, I mean, I guess, I don't know, I guess I've just always thought of Jesus as Jesus. Like, I never even thought there anything other than that. Like, I mean, I get, like, the question, right? Like, but it, I don't know. So that's, like, that's just my favorite name of him. Diana is absolutely amazing. And we're going around and talking to people about their favorite name for Jesus Christ. Diana, what is your favorite name for Jesus Christ? Um, my favorite name for Jesus Christ would be Friend um, because he is always with me and he never leaves my side. That's incredible. Jesus Christ is our friend. Alrighty, that was great. What did you think, Promise? It was pretty cool. I that like. That was pretty cool. I, I really mm -hmm. liked how the the one lady brought up friend, just like you did. It must be it must be a true thing you're talking about. You got the other people talking about it. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's like I liked it how everybody has their own name and their own relationship with Jesus Christ. No, and sometimes it is as simple as as the name Jesus Christ. There is a great deal of power in just calling him that alone, right? It's very very personal. In a sense, there is no mistaking who that is when we, we say that. So I really liked that part as well. Yes. Um, I know recently, again, I mentioned earlier I got to, to be at your baptism, that you you were able to kind of come a lot closer to Jesus Christ. You, you had the opportunity to, to maybe meet some missionaries and learn more about Jesus Christ and some of his names mm -hmm. um, and even make something we call a covenant with him. Do you want to kind of share some of your experiences with that? Oh, yes. Um, so... Uh... I like toys, so since growing up, you know, I like this remote control cars and stuff, so now my toys are cars and drones, so um, I'll go with that. And then I was washing my car one day, and I um, pull up, I was like, I see a guy with, like, says, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I was like, oh, hey, uh, you are Christians? And then uh, I was like, yeah. And then we shook hands, and they invited me to... Uh, the church and um, I went to the church. They gave me the Book of Mormon. And were, were you a Christian before? No, you weren't. I was not. Yeah. Okay, what what did you what did you practice? Um, believe? I practiced Hinduism. Okay, cool. Yes. Very cool. Uh, so um, so I uh, moved out to that, and then um, the missionaries, you know, they move here and there. Uh, so um, they got their transferred. I moved to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, so I was. Um, I was on my second day. I was just came out from Walmart, parking my car. I saw this guys. There was khaki pants, white shirt, you know, got this name tag, uh, elders written, and there was bag. And I was like, all right, let's go and talk to them. They are the, they are the guys. So I went up, talked to them, and they said, invited me to the um, your P day. So 
Okay, okay. So you were living somewhere else. Yes. You were washing your car. Because, you, you know, boys never really grew up. Just get bigger toys, right? So you were yes. washing, <laughs> washing the car. And you, you saw a missionary, you talked to him, and then you moved. And yes. And you ran into him again. Yes. Wow. That, that seems to be the Lord's timing. A lot of times, I, I don't know how it works, but after, after you started meeting with him again, what happened? Um, so um, then um, I realized uh, there is a purpose of this. And um, when Elder Hall came and talked to me, Elder Arnold had come to me, you know, um, and they had a will to, um, to tell me, like, about more learn about Jesus Christ. So we started talking together um, and learning more about Jesus Christ. And uh, we went to, like, all ten, um, like, the, all the commandments and stuff. Mm-hmm. So as I mentioned in earlier, I lived my life in a very moral way. So, um, you know, you can live your life morally, anything. But the only way to go is following Jesus Christ. Absolutely, absolutely. And you, you were able to be baptized and make a covenant with Jesus Christ, right? I'm sure the missionaries explained covenant over and over to you. But part of that covenant of baptism when we're baptized is we, we take our, upon ourselves the name of Jesus Christ, right? And it's kind of a silly way of thinking about it to me, but... If you if you wanted to like dress up as Jesus Christ and walk around, and you started acting not right, that would not be good, right? It'd <laughs> yeah, be a poor yeah. representation of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. And so, when we're baptized and we take upon ourselves the name of Jesus Christ, we gotta act like Him. Yes. Um, that's something that we we promise to do. And I guess since you've been baptized, like, how have you seen your life change in the aspect of of acting and becoming like Jesus Christ? So. Um me uh, see everybody talks about more about you know nice things good things you know mm-hmm. but sometimes life take a turns towards the negativity you know that's the time you do not want to engage yourself you know just thinking about bad thoughts so i'll tell you like i saw this video the other day um so um so you just like think that who is bigger to you Jesus Christ obviously got baptized. Jesus Christ is bigger to you. But if you see the problem, is that's the Satan. So what is more bigger in your life? Jesus Christ. So while you're putting that problem in front of you, put Jesus Christ in front of you, the problem will gonna disappear. Absolutely. If we if we focus on him, it's it's game over for Satan, right? Yes. Um I was listening to a a devotional um from from a guy who's he's a leader of one of our uh, he's sorry he's a leader of the church, uh, a local guy, and he was talking about taking like one of the names of Christ and following it like every week because there's so many of them and like I was kind of talking about earlier like Jesus Christ is so perfect and so big that mm-hmm. it's it's hard to like feel like you can measure up to that yes. aspect of of being like him. So he he talked about how he would choose one of his names and he would try to live to his best of that every week. So you mentioned friend, right? Uh-huh. Um, if you did your very best to be a good friend to everyone that you saw in a week, like imagine how much closer they would come to Jesus Christ and yourself as well. I think a lot of times the, the small and simple steps that we need to take to you know, enlighten ourselves and our community are, are very small and very simple, and we mm-hmm. kind of overlook things. So. Um, what, do you, what do you think is probably like the biggest thing that you've seen maybe in the change and in, in sorry seeing your your friends lives change since you've been baptized you've been able to share maybe your experience or your story with them at all like share the experience of mine how it changed mm-hmm. um so um yes like um taking over like um just being more patient you know um um especially as youngsters, you know, um, we just like um, try to just like hop and do things, uh, which is kind of can go in the wrong way, but he is there, you know, he knows where to direct, how to direct, and you're going to go. But you have also to put your little bit of mind in there. So, um, so it's just like he directs me. That's what I'll tell. Anytime I feel like I don't know which way to go, close my eyes, pray about it. And and um, 
I heard it from somewhere, you know, I just I just go like this. So you're going to go to your parents and then you're going to ask, hey, um, he already knows. Your mom and dad already knows you want a candy. You're going to go and ask up to them, hey, can I get a candy? They got a candy for you. Mm-hmm. So so prayer is connecting to Jesus Christ, connecting to God. So I think so prayer helps me a he, lot. He's waiting for you. He, yeah, he's, he's waiting he, for he's you. He's waiting for you to ask, uh-huh. right, to, to talk to him and, yes. and receive some of those different blessings. I think that is totally true. And it's important to remember, you know, we're not going to be able to take all of these names that we know about Jesus Christ yes. and live them perfectly right yes. now. It's it's more important about the direction that we're facing in this life than uh-huh. maybe how fast we're going down the road sometimes. Um, yes. <laughs> but I love that. I'm, I'm thankful that I've been able to talk with you here today, I promise. It's been it's been a pleasure. It's great to hear your testimony. Um, kind of an invitation we want to leave with you all as the viewers. We wanted to want to hear from y'all on your favorite names of Jesus Christ. Maybe comment down below your favorite name of Jesus Christ or or anything of that sort. Yes, um, I like to inv- leave an invitation. Is like, who is Jesus Christ to you? Um, just leave a comment below and. If you see anywhere passing by, stopping in a red light, grabbing gas station snacks, uh, somebody, missionary says, elders, sisters, go talk to them. That's why I'll send you an invitation. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Well, we, we again have been so, so happy to be here with you all, get to talk. We're going to close out with another song by a local artist. It's, it's a cover of the song Glorious. Um, we'll let you all enjoy that on your way out, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Yes, we'll see you next week. All righty. There are times when you might feel lameless and can't see the places where you belong, but you will find that there is. Been there within you all along, and when you're near it, you can almost hear it. It's like a symphony, just keep listening, and pretty soon you'll start to figure out your part. Everyone plays a piece. Everyone plays a piece in their